Pastor Michael Blanchett here with Commissioned Steps Gospel Radio. You thought you missed us, didn't you? We're here. Pastor Michael Blanchett, along with my co-host, leading, Lebra, leading lady Deborah Blanchett. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Tonight, our sound engineer is Rashid. Amen? Amen. Amen, amen. 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 As we start our broadcast off, we start with prayer. Father, in your name, Jesus, we thank you for this day in which you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the cool air on the outside, uh, but the warm blood that runs through our bodies this evening. We pray for all those that are sick and afflicted in their bodies. We pray for families right now as we go into this holiday season, this season of celebration that depression tries to creep in, but we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We bind it and cast it out. We're praying for all those leaders be it in the fellowships, be it in local and national government, that, Lord, show yourself strong and mighty. We're praying for world leaders right now. Lord, we thank you. Bless us again. Commission Steps Gospel Radio as we go forth. And it's in your name, Jesus our Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 And we're here tonight. Amen. Commission Steps Gospel Radio. I am Pastor Michael Blanchett the pastor of Ordered Steps Ministries here in Los Angeles, located at 4407 West Slauson Avenue. Our Sunday services begin at 8.30 with prayer, 9 a.m. with Sunday school, 10 o'clock a.m. with our worship manna. Amen. uh, 6.30 on Wednesday night is our Bible study, and of course on Monday and Wednesday nights we do have a prayer conference uh, bridge that takes place. So tonight I want to start us off by giving you the request line number, and that is 310-910-9676, extension number one. Amen. 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 How you doing tonight? I'm blessed. Lady Deborah, amen. I'm blessed. It's a good amen. day. Amen. I see you no have rain. a- No rain. No rain. No so rain. Okay. I see you have a button on. I do. I have to wear it every day. Amen. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, that's Amen. for the UTLA, the teachers. UTLA, uh, UTLA. <laughs> okay, the, the Los Angeles Unified Teachers, amen. Uh, they're they're gearing up, amen, but amen, we know God is in control. God has the final say. Uh, just like to give kudos out to my friend uh, former and classmate uh, of Washington High School, Henry Clay Middle School, uh, Jerome Divinity of LAPD. Amen. As we were out on last Saturday. Uh, he did his annual warm coat giveaway in the Nickerson Gardens housing uh, projects, amen, in the gym. We were there with other class members from Washington High School representing and for a worthy cause for in-and-out communications. So we thank God for that. It's something that Jerome has uh, heavy on his heart to give back to the communi- what a community. What a amen, blessing. amen. As well as us, uh, we're thankful that we're able to give back to the community as much as the community has given us, us if not more. Amen. Like I always say, a farmer that reaps harvest from the land but does not put nutrients back before planting the next crop, Mm -hmm. uh, that future harvest will grow and be weaker than the previous one. So you want to continue to replenish the land. Amen. Amen. So with that, tonight, 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 I want to say uh, our shout outs to everyone. Uh, Let's say shout out to. Okay, how about uh, our own mom, Dr. Genevieve Shepard, amen, hey, continue to bless listening. her, amen, my wife's brothers, amen, Edel and Jaime Shepard, I can also uh, go with my brother Jerome, my sister Starlet, Sabrina, amen, amen. God bless them, our niece amen. Chase, amen. nephews, little Jean and Jaime, I'm sorry, little Jean and Edel, amen. okay, okay, amen. all the nieces and nephews, amen, God amen. bless you, Crystal uh, and Adrian, Crystal and Adrian, amen, our son and daughter and Benjamin and Mia, Amen, your grandchildren. And then, of course, we'd like to say hello to Bishop Robert Douglas, amen. our bishop. God amen. Bless you. Uh, district Elder David Anderson, hallelujah, my district elder, and all those fellowships in district number eight. God bless you. God bless you. And to my, I call him my armor bearer, amen. It's Bucking the Preacher, Brother L.T. Willis, amen, who has his Saturday morning sports show here from 10 a.m to 12 noon on Accelerated Radio. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we want to get started tonight. We've talked about so many different things, but we 
hit on some stuff and I mentioned uh, or talked to one of my classmates, uh, Marlene mm. uh, Smith, Rumford Smith, and she had mentioned something to me and I said, okay, I'll take that under consideration. But one of the things now is to talk about how can I give my life to God? How can I do that? Why is there a need for wow. me giving my life to God? Wow. Because as uh, we've been talking, we've been talking very generically. We've been talking about transparency. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about depression. Uh, depression. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have some folks on uh, uh, our own Dr. Jennifer Payne, along mm -hmm. with ministers, uh, Larelco and Wanda Molzak. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're not finished with that one. Uh, we want to get ready to get lined up our own uh, cousin, Dr. Antoine Martin, Amen. to come on in. Amen. With his Amen. wife, Yvette Amen. Martin. Amen. Amen. But now we want to talk about this thing that you hear us or hear people talking about is being saved or giving your life to God, giving your life to the Lord. When you when I got this topic, I was like, oh, my goodness, this is a this is a, a big pill. It's a big pill. Mm -hmm. And like everything that's large, you don't try to just tackle it. Right. Uh, but you do tackle it head on. But right. you must realize you don't chop down an oak tree with one swing of an axe. Amen. Amen. But to know that you must be committed and consistent in the task of chopping down the oak tree. So I in this. you were mm -hmm. talking um, last night. I think it was last night at Bible study. You were talking about um, death. Death. What is what, what is, is death? death? What is death? And when when I saw this topic, I thought about um, um, Adam. Adam, when he when he sinned, he was separated from God. Yes, he amen. was separated from God. Amen. And ever since then, um, we've been trying to reconcile back to where Adam was. All right. That amen. relationship that he had with God. So that's a that's a, a an innate thing in us. That that's see that's that's something that's in you that's driving you that's saying, okay, okay, um, how do I what do I, I I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. But that's that inner core in you yes. that's trying to reconcile you back. Amen. Mm -hmm. Check you out. Okay, Rashid, if you want to, you jump on in on this conversation. I mean, if you feel, you know, the the need to jump in, you know, go right ahead. But understanding, as Lady Deborah was saying, when you talked about Adam and then you talked about sin coming in mm -hmm. and death occurred, which is death is separation from mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So when we think about death, everyone thinks about uh, final or mm -hmm. no longer existing well, understanding that death, in the case of a spiritual death, you become separated from God. Mm -hmm. When Adam sinned, there became a there came a disconnect. When the prodigal sons, uh, when the prodigal son uh, left his father, his father, when he saw him returning, uh, used a term or termed it as, "Here comes my son who was dead to mm -hmm. me," which mm -hmm. meant my son and I had been separated. Right, right, right. When we watch someone transition from this life to eternal life, mm -hmm. uh, they die, but do they really die or do they go down to eternal life? They separate from this life. Mm -hmm. So that's a, we can get real deep into that one. Uh -huh. But then when you said that, you were talking about how can I give my life to God? Right. The answer is we all live for something. Right. From the moment of cons our, our carnal knowledge, mm -hmm or con uh, perception or conception of understanding, we wanted to know what we were here for mm -hmm. what's and our purpose? what's the purpose, yeah. amen. That, so, that book was so popular for years, The Purpose Driven Life, because everybody's looking for their purpose. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. What's your purpose? Uh, to serve God. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. I am a stepping stone, and I try not to be a stumbling block. Mm -hmm to help others get to that place where they desire to be. Amen. Um, it's not easy because some will feel like they're stepping on your back. Hmm. You know, you feel like, oh, they're stepping on me to get somewhere. But if I'm helping you get to the Lord, amen, I'd rather do that to have you step on my back that way than me to trip you up and amen. have you miss getting there. Amen. 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 Once again, that number to call in on is 310-910-9676, uh, extension number one. Well, in the question you asked, how can I give my life to God? Mm -hmm. The first thing I thought about was surrender. Surrender. 
you got to surrender. You got to you got to just let go. And I think we're so used to being in control. We think we we could do it and we could do this and we could do this, but you have to in order to give, you have to surrender. Amen. Amen. Surrendering understand it's not showing a sign of weakness. Right. A lot of times uh, Brother Rashid, help me with this one. Surrender can be a form that, or, or or something that allows me to live further. Mm. Mm. By not surrendering, I can cut life off. Wow! But by surrendering, wow. I can actually cause my life to continue. Wow! Especially wow. if we look at the day and age of what's going on around America right, right. with people being shot. Uh, wrongfully Mm -hmm. and we say well did they surrender Mm -hmm. well when it comes spiritually if I surrender I'm Mm -hmm. actually increasing my life because I'm surrendering to the lust of of life the lust of my flesh Mm -hmm. and I'm surrendering that to the will of God Mm -hmm. which is to bring me abundant life Mm -hmm. or a pleasing life if you will Uh, People look at the creator and they'll say, well, if I do what the creator says, then I will be blessed. If I do this, that will happen. If I don't do that, well, that's going to happen. What do you think about that? Hmm. It sounds to me like like when you basically just like give up yourself, (laughs) you you put it in a perspective Mm -hmm. of the spiritual, Mm -hmm. you know, of, of just, you know, about have you absolved yourself mm-hmm. of everything that you have done mm. in your life? Mm. Like, what, have you seeking forgiveness? And if you have, just let that let let all of it go. Mm. Let it go. Mm. <laughs> Out of the mouth of babes. Amen. 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 That was good. That for was years, that was good. For years, I carried a white handkerchief in my purse, and I keep saying I'm gonna do this. I'm going to make this this handkerchief, and it's gonna say I S A. I surrender all because I was going through something and I was trying to handle it. And every time I tried to handle it, it stressed me out. So I just would take the handkerchief out and just wave it saying, okay, I surrender all. I'm I'm not in control. I'm not, I can't, I can't deal with this. So that was my, my surrendering. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what we're looking at, of course, is uh, we're trying to look at like a 12 minute segments or close to it. Then we'll take a break and move on back and, come back all right so i think maybe right now we should get ready to prepare for a break but one of the things i was talking about as rashid is planning for our break with our next uh sound track we all live for something we start life fully committed Mm. to pleasing ourselves Mm -hmm. and as we grow that usually doesn't change much Mm. our focus can become more uh dispersed among areas that are important to us, Mm. such as relationships, careers, or goals. But the bottom line is almost always a desire to please Mm. ourselves. Mm. So with that, we're going to take a break. Wow. And we're going to go on and move to the... See you on the other side. See you on the other side. The atmosphere is changing. Nothing stays the same Heaven is waiting For the mention of the name The spirit is moving Burning like a flame Healing the broken By the one we proclaim Raise it up Chains will fall, mountains move, we lift him high. Speak the name, the name above all other names. Speak the name, the name the wind and waves obey. All the heavens coming down, fill the earth with the sun. 
images of shame Miracles unfolding At the mention of the name Alright, alright, we're back over here on the other side Amen. Here at Amen, Commission Steps Gospel Radio yeah. I am Pastor Michael Blanchett of Order Steps Ministries And Deborah Blanchett Amen, that's the leading lady Amen, not only of Commission Steps But of Ordered Steps Ministries Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. When we left off, you were talking about um, We have this desire um, to please ourselves Yes And the question that automatically popped up in our head my head was what happens when we just please ourselves when we just please ourselves it it it's a lonely place Mm -hmm. when you look around Mm -hmm. uh, the friends that you have or that you think you have Mm -hmm. they're not there Uh because everything was focused on yourself it was just me Mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that if we know the first law of nature is self-preservation right, right we know that however that becomes a animalistic type of of living mm-hmm. uh, but to surrender mm. now means i'm i'm forsaking myself uh-huh. amen for he who created me right right and with that mm-hmm. realizing now if he created me he created you amen So as much as I value me, I must value you. Mm -hmm. I must. Mm -hmm. Because if I am, if we look, I am what? Uh, As it says it here uh, in Genesis 1 and 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him. Male and female created them. uh, He, them. So understanding that I'm not in this alone. Right. Right, right. I'm not on an right. island by right. myself. You know, even Gilligan wasn't on an island by himself. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> uh, survivor, they're not right. on an island right. by themselves. Right. But understanding that God created man, number one, first in his mm-hmm. own image, in mm-hmm. his image, mm-hmm. which is spiritual. Mm-hmm. So I'm about to probably step on some toes right now, but, uh, you know, either hold on or loosen your seatbelt. I'm not religious. Did I say that right? You I'm not it. religious. You said it. I'm spiritual. Amen. People get caught and, and understand. Let me let me let me clarify something. Religious means I do something through repetition. Mm-hmm. Is God repetitious? Mm. Mm. When we look at something, when we look at something, let me let me get back to my days of being a technician, but way back at AT and T before management, even understanding that. When something was man-made, uh, it had a rhythm to it, meaning there was a pattern, mm-hmm. if you will. But it, when it was done by nature, it was kind of sporadic. It just mm-hmm. it moved. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't something that you could you could really measure with, uh, say, a temple or with a with a with a uh, consistent, uh, repetitive type motion. Mm-hmm. But understanding that nature fluctuates, which mm-hmm. means now in my spiritual walk, I have to be able to move as Amen. God moves. Amen. Amen. As the spirit moves, uh-huh. I move. Uh-huh. But if I'm religious, uh-huh. I'm going to reject what God is trying it's to just, do because it's about it me and right. I have to do it this uh-huh. way. Is yeah, Somebody out there knowing I'm talking mm-hmm. about, where's my friend? Amen. Pastor uh, Thomas Aaron. Amen. <laughs> uh, he, he breaks stuff down. I like the way he breaks it down. <laughs> Amen. And, and, and to understand that when I'm moving in my own beat, instead mm-hmm. of moving to the the mm. beat of God, amen. Mm. Now what I'm headed for is danger. Amen. I'm headed for chaos. I'm headed for disaster. Amen. 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 So that's why our that's why our desires have to change from being self centered to God centered. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. French uh, philosopher Blase uh, Pascal wrote this: There is a God shaped vacuum in the heart of every person Mm. and it can never be filled by any created thing it can only be filled by god it can only be filled Uh. by god made known through jesus christ amen amen Amen. you ever have a yearning that 
uh, is going wow. on or burning in your body or in your spirit mm-hmm. and you and you're trying to find the right thing uh, let me give it to you in the natural. I hear you, Marlene. Let me give it to you in the natural. You're driving down the street and uh, you're hungry for something. And uh, I'm not going to say a Tommy burger, but <laughs> uh, one time I was hungry for a Tommy burger. And if I went to a fat burger or somewhere else, it just didn't do it. Hmm. It was I had to have Tommy burger. And to, um, that's a burger out here in Los Angeles for those of you abroad and, and across the country. But understanding that the void or the vacuum inside of us mm-hmm. is a spot that's it. that it's God reserved, just for reserved God. it, amen, mm-hmm. just for himself. Mm-hmm. He's the only one that can feel that void because mm-hmm. if not, it's an emptiness because mm-hmm. it's like a junkie trying to find their high. Mm-hmm. They're always chasing it. Mm-hmm. But what happens is when you find God. Yeah. And he comes in. Because people try to fill that void with so many other things. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think about people that chase after riches. Uh, Money cannot buy happiness. Money cannot buy peace. Say it. Money can't can't do it. It's still that that void. The void is still there. So you're saying money can't buy me love? No, sorry, I can't buy you love. I should write a song. So you love me, and I was (laughs) on a negative cash flow. I used to tell that to our nephew, Edel, who played uh, in the NFL as a wide receiver. Hey, Edel. Hey, Edel. And he would say when uh, he Tiffany. was playing, he would say, I'm broke. And I said, stop saying you're broke. Uh-huh. You got a negative cash flow right now. <laughs> Amen. But other than that, hey, man, you got plenty of money, Amen. especially if the Lord has us all in this family together. Amen. Don't, don't Amen. worry about it. Amen. 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 How are we looking on time there, Rashid? Okay. But how much before our break? Amen. Five okay. or six, amen, amen. 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 The call-in number, that request line, 310-910-9676, extension number one. Hey, what's going on, A. Hey, Rita May? I hear you over there. Don't give Uncle Evie a hard time, amen. <laughs> Bishop Bobby Etheridge, amen. God bless you. And amen. Lady Di down there in Texas. Amen. Our friends, uh, Pastors Larry uh, and Ebony Weathers, amen. Apex Ministries down in Atlanta. Oh, I'm giving some shout-outs tonight. Pastor Randy and Michaela, amen. amen. Uh, they're they're Thriving, amen, and nourishing vine in Las Vegas. Amen. amen. And the Awoot, all the Spartans, amen, that are going up around this country. Y'all, you see, if, if you're not a Spartan, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 So, with that, throughout history, mankind has attempted to fill that vacuum, as you said, with everything except God. Mm-hmm. Religion, philosophy, human relationships, and material gain. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Religion philosophy Mm -hmm. i've talked to many of people that try to philosophize with me and i'm like okay you haven't read colossians when paul's (laughs) telling you you know don't 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 put your 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 faith in uh philosophy Mm -hmm. because what you're doing now is trying to take a concept that uh materialized in your mind and try to uh, make god fit in there Mm -hmm. amen and understanding Mm -hmm. that god is infinite amen Mm -hmm. he's omnipresent hallelujah so why is it now i'm gonna try to uh, limit him to this little box or this 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 little space inside my head, amen, that if he just began and said, stop, <laughs> I couldn't move, I couldn't think, mm-hmm. uh, but because of him, I can, amen. Amen. amen, so we must understand that nothing, nothing. satisfies us, nothing, nothing satisfies mm-hmm. As evidenced uh, by the universal description or dis- desperation, excuse me, or greed and general hopelessness that characterize the history of man. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, mm. and I will give you rest. Wearied and heavy laden, that's right. I'm going to give you rest. That's it. That's People it. look for peace. Huh. <laughs> Amen. In the middle of a storm, what? God can bring you peace. Yes, he can. All right, we're trying to prepare here for a break. Amen. So with that, we're going to go ahead and Rashid's going to take us on a break. Amen. We're going to smooth our way on through. Amen. On dry land. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Let's go, Rashid.
Amen, amen. We're back on to the other side, and that that little number was by our brother. Amen. Edel, I like that. Edel Shepherd, I don't think amen. I heard that one. Amen, amen. I like that one. He is the maestro. Fingers, <laughs> amen. Fingers. One sixty-seven. Is that it? That is one sixty-seven. I was like, what is that? Amen. I hear myself. You hear yourself. <laughs> it was you. It was, it was you. Me. It was it you. It was me. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. And with that. Um, Thank you, Gene. I mean, Edel, very much. Thank you. Amen. Amen, amen. Okay. We're back. We're back. So when we come to the place of recognizing that life is not about ourselves, we are ready to stop running from God and allow him to take over. So that's where the surrender comes in. That's where we give up and say, I can't do it. You have to help me with it. So you have to totally surrender. Amen. Amen. The only way that any of us can have a relationship with a holy God is to admit that we are sinners. Mm -hmm. Turn away from that sin and accept the sacrifice that Jesus made to pay for sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the thing to understand is we've talked about this before is I can confess Mm -hmm. all day long. Mm -hmm. But if I don't repent, Mm -hmm. then the confession really means nothing because I'll continue with that that I'm confessing in. So there must be repentance. Amen. There must be the shedding of blood. And what's repentance? To turn away from the sins. Amen. Once you understand or the the enlightenment comes that Mm -hmm. this is sin, this goes against God, Mm -hmm. there should be that that yearning inside when God is present and his residence, he resides inside of you Mm -hmm. to say, I Mm -hmm. must turn now Mm -hmm. from that sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. And and only knowing that through the help of God, Mm -hmm. amen, that I receive strength because the Bible tells us greater is he that is in me. Mm -hmm than he that is in the world. And we have to realize that um, the sacrifice Jesus made paid for our sins. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad, you may have made a big sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Grandma may have taken some kids in, Mm -hmm. their grandkids. But amen. But the ultimate sacrifice Mm -hmm. is what happened on the hill of Golgotha on Calvary's mountain is when Jesus laid down his life Mm. that we might have eternal life. Yes, yes. And not only eternal life, but abundant life. See, a lot of times we look at it and think, okay, I'm waiting for eternal life. But the Lord also promised us abundant life. Amen. He said that he would open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that we won't have room enough to receive it all. Mm -hmm. Amen. So so as I'm going through this thing, this journey of life. Amen. God is pouring out blessings. And I'm not talking about finances Mm. because people get caught in (laughs) finances. And I look at Solomon, Mm. Solomon, son of David, who was king. Mm -hmm. Ah, when he asked, when God asked him, what is it, Solomon, that you want from me, you desire from me? Mm. Solomon asked for wisdom, wisdom. Amen. Knowing what to ask God for. And God Mm -hmm. blessed him not only with the wisdom on how to lead the children of Israel, Mm -hmm. but he poured out financial blessings on him also. Amen. 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 So now I'm not saying just go to God and say, Lord, give me some wisdom so I can get some money. You know, no, it doesn't work like that. We have to be a good steward over our finances be a good steward over what God has already given us. Amen. Amen. Why is it that I'm going to ask God for a million dollars and I can't handle $5. (laughs) Okay. I would need to be a good steward over that. You know, amen. Amen. Uh, I can, I can, I can pay uh, almost six dollars for a special coffee from Starbucks when I possibly can add what another two dollars to it by a can of coffee and make it myself at home. Uh All right, and and it's going to be really to my taste too. Amen. All right, come on, somebody. Uh, That request line again is three one zero nine one zero nine six seven six. So how do we connect? Number one. How do we connect God? How do we actually connect? We know that when we pray, Mm -hmm. when we pray, Mm -hmm. there is a connection that is being made. Mm -hmm. Now, I see you on here, Pastor Greer. Amen. 
when we connect through prayer, amen, we are, we are actually uh, requesting from God, from our Lord Jesus, mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. But my Bible says he dwells in the midst of praise. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was talking about it last night at, at Bible study. When the disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. And he said, our father, which art in mm-hmm. heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy mm-hmm. kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm-hmm. Give us this day our daily bread. Amen. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And we all agree and said amen. Because you answered my next question. I was going to ask, how do you pray? Because a lot of people say, well, I don't know how to pray. Amen. Because they're, 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 they're thinking about the people that give these wonderful, eloquent prayers. And they're like, well, I can't pray like that. Amen, amen. I mean, you hear people and they'll get uh, like they're like they're on the the stage somewhere that's it, that's at the it. symphony hall somewhere that's and it's our father which art in heaven <laughs> hallowed be thy name mm-hmm. thy kingdom come uh-huh. uh, thy will be done on earth uh, as it is in heaven that does not impress god no, it does not. but the sincerity of your heart right, right. and then when you understand that mm-hmm. he already knows what you're going to ask him before you ask him right right but what happens is when you're asking you're hearing because faith comes by hearing Mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So now as I'm asking, amen, what I need to do is shift from my Mm -hmm. prayer to a praise Mm -hmm. because he dwells, the Bible says, in the midst of praise. Mm -hmm. So as he now comes down where my praise is Mm -hmm. and he moves me into worship, Mm -hmm. hallelujah, because in the presence of God is fullness of joy. Mm -hmm. And people, as they're looking for joy in this journey called life, uh, they're looking to other people to bring them joy. They're looking for other things mm-hmm. to bring them joy. But to understand that in the presence of the Lord it's is fullness, fullness of joy. Mm-hmm. So your joy becomes uh, overflowing mm-hmm. in the presence of God. And you mm-hmm. just can't walk up mm-hmm. in the presence of God. When you said that, I thought about how in the Old Testament, um, before you approach the king, uh, most of the time they didn't just walk up to the king. They just they would always give some flattering words like, "Oh, king, live forever! You're the greatest! You're the most wonderful!" And that's how we should approach the throne. That's yes. how we should approach when we when we start to pray. When we start to pray, we need to say, "Lord, we thank you that you are God. We yes. know who you are. We need to recognize who He is." I always think about the word um, fearing God. We've been talking about that in the Sunday school the last couple of Sundays. Fearing God. When I was a kid, fearing God meant be afraid of God. And we were so scared every Sunday, like, oh, oh, I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. So that wasn't the kind of fear that they were talking about. We need to reverence God. So when we start off our prayer, that's what we start off with, reverencing God, recognizing who he is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So to understand fear is not being scared. Right, right. But fear in the reverence of who he is and what he has done and the abilities, amen. Mm -hmm. Because understanding that before God there was nothing and and it was he always was. Right. And then after he shall always be. Mm -hmm. And that we, amen, I, I talked about this before, our life. Our life is but a moment. Mm. In the span of eternity. <laughs> yes. It is It is a hiccup uh-huh. in the span uh-huh. of eternity. Uh-huh. So if you look at, say, an, EK, an EEG and you see the, the graph hiccup or go up and spike up and then continue to go back down, uh, when it flatlines, that means we no longer exist on this, mm-hmm. in this body, in this life. However, the hiccup mm. represents my life. And it's but for a short moment Mm -hmm. because eternity is forever. That's it. And when you ask a child, how long is forever? And they say always. Always. I think that's the perfect answer. How long is eternity? Always. (laughs) And that hiccup Mm -hmm. can determine where I spend Mm -hmm. uh, the the, the rest of my eternity. Amen. Because before I had no concept of it. Mm -hmm. And then when I came into this life, this body, that was shaped from the dust of the earth. Mm-hmm. I now started my hiccup, mm-hmm. if you will. And now what am I going to do uh, to continue on from that eternity to that eternity mm-hmm. is based on what I do in, during this 
hiccup called life. Amen. Uh, this life Amen. or this fleshly life. Amen. And I have the opportunity to know that God, amen, has shown me a way to continue on with him through eternity. Amen. Amen. So what choice are you going to make? That's it. That's it. That's the question we have to ask ourselves. What choice are you going to make? Are you going to choose to continue to please yourself? Are you going to turn and decide to please God? It's challenging when you ask that question because Mm. now you're talking to uh, mankind who wants to survive. Mm. And when all they know is their natural survival skills Mm -hmm. to let go and let God Mm. becomes challenging, (laughs) especially knowing that men, if you will, are hunters and you want me now to surrender. You want me now to let go Mm -hmm. of what I've been taught or what's innate inside of me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We're looking at one minute. But what's innate inside of me also, I must realize, mm-hmm. is the essence of God. When he breathed into man and we become a living soul, mm-hmm. uh, that essence of God is, is I believe, is really what uh, Lucifer is after, is the essence of God. The breath of life is the essence of God inside of me and you mm-hmm. and all of his creation. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to take a break. Amen. Go ahead, Rashid, and take us there. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Without believing, it's impossible. So um, Hebrews 11 and 6 says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards them who diligently seek him. Amen. Without faith. So what is faith? Hmm. 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 I mean, what is faith? Oh, man, we can't do that in eight minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but understand, uh, faith is having a belief in something amen knowing that Mm. it will come through Mm -hmm. regardless of any obstacle that comes up before it even when you can't see it even when you don't feel it you know it can happen amen the wind blows Mm -hmm. but can you tell me from which direction it comes Mm. Some say it comes from the east. Well, I say it started in the west and mm. came around. Amen. <laughs> so it blew from the west to the east and then hit. 
<laughs> or did it come from the north or did it come from the south? You can't see the wind, but you feel the effects of the wind. Mm-hmm. Amen. So that's what we understand. God is that awesome that when you start talking about the wind, you start talking about. I love the scripture that says, consider the ant you sluggard. <laughs> amen. An ant. Amen. Something so small that we, that's the one thing that someone with their hand, with their finger will kill. They will crush an ant with their finger, but yet the Bible says, consider the ant. So compared to an ant, we're sluggards. Okay. A sluggard. <laughs> Have you ever seen an ant go on strike? An ant take a lunch break? <laughs> yeah, but but one thing we did understand that an ant, amen, when one of its own has fallen, mm. uh, others will come to mm. rally and take him home, mm. amen. So that's why we must consider the that's ant, it. amen. That's that's uh, when they find that, that the scout ant goes out and finds it, they go back and tell the others, hey, I found where it is, mm. follow me. And when there's an obstacle in the way, Mm. uh, they dispatch around it, if Mm. you will, going north, going south, Mm -hmm. opposite directions. And then they dispatch uh, the builder ants, if you will, to go in Mm. and to clear away because they want to go straight as in narrow is the way. But wide is the path to destruction. Amen. 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 Uh, Once again, our call in line is 310-910-9676, extension number one. And on Facebook, we'd like for you to give us some ideas. Give us some ideas of what you, what topics would be interesting to you. Amen, amen. Mm-hmm. There's somebody that's watching on Facebook Live, and, you know, this one this one strikes uh, my heart. And uh, yeah, I'm going to say it. Uh, I'm going to call your name, Jeff Jepson. We're talking Cub Scout time for me. Wow. This young man, this family, you know, uh, my grandmother used to always say I should do we should do some kind of reunion with, uh, you know, our former scouts and Cub Scouts. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to him, the Jepson yeah. family, the Marikamis, the Clarks, uh, Kermit Clark, who's pastoring in Arizona. Amen. Wow. Amen. There's so many that the Martins, um, Eric Owens, amen, Bert Johnson, uh, Michael Weatherall, Jeff Brooks, Jay Brooks. There's so many that we were uh, acquainted with in growing up at. Mm-hmm. West Athens Elementary School. It takes um, a village. It takes a village, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm 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 really happy for where I came from. Mm-hmm. The Grant family, uh, my friend who has transitioned, Danny Grant, but the Grant family and those of Gardena High. Of course, I'm a general of Washington mm-hmm. High School, and hello to those of Dorsey. Amen. <laughs> my wife is a Donna, yes. but I like to say she needed a general in her life. <laughs> And of course, uh, my my little brother, Amen, who's pastoring down that Marietta Way, uh, who went to Dorsey with my wife, and that's Pastor John Wells, Amen, Amen, Amen. New Birth. God bless you, our all, all our friends in Las Vegas, Amen. Uh, Bishop uh, House, Amen, and his mm-hmm. wife. Uh, there's so many. There's so many uh, in San Diego. Bishop Donnie McGriff, and of course, of the North from the Pentecostal Assembly of the World, which we're part of. Uh, uh, Bishop Robert Douglas, and then, of course, in the north, uh, the eloquent one, the eloquent uh, speaker and <laughs> linguist, uh, the uh, Bishop Noel L. Jones. Amen. Amen, amen. So with that, amen, we'll be looking like Rashid. We're we're kind of, we're there. Huh? We just, all right, amen. we're coming around the back curve. Or, amen. Okay, okay, amen. amen. So uh, we confess our sins. Mm-hmm. Thank Jesus for making a way mm-hmm. for us to be forgiven. Mm-hmm. Um Hello, Cheryl. Hey, man, I see you. Uh, Cheryl, someone I was brought up with, hey, man, a long time ago, and we were schoolmates also. But understanding that God has a plan for our life. Yes, he does. And the thing is, are we willing to surrender what we think our life is? Because his about? plan is always, always better than our plan. Yes, it is. Coming to God through faith in Jesus Christ means we transfer ownership of our lives to God. Mm. And here's the thing to understand to say we transfer ownership. (laughs) I thought about a quick claim deed where you just transfer it real quick. Here's my thing. How do you transfer ownership to someone who already already owns it? it. (laughs) (laughs) You know, that's the thing. He already owns it. Amen. Amen. Uh, because he's the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. So with that, amen, we just want to understand that we must surrender our will amen. and let it line up with the will of God. Amen. Amen. And we will definitely continue this. 
Amen. We will continue. Amen. 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 With that, come on, Rashid. Father, in your name, Jesus, we thank you for this episode tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Bless us, Lord. Cover us with your blood. Jesus, we thank you. Bless all those that are coming behind and those that came before. Bless, hallelujah, commissioned steps, gospel radio, as well as order steps, ministries. We love you and we thank you. For it's in your name, Jesus our Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, Rashid, go on and take us out of here. See you next week. He's wonderful. God. He's so wonderful. Try